guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm bringing you guys a spring inspired uh, bronzy and glowy kind of makeup look the moment it turned spring in my area it was just like all right I'm ready for the Sun I'm ready for the warmth I'm ready for the tan and the glow and the whole nine and so I was definitely feeling inspired by spring for this video so this look is gonna be very tan bronze glowy and obviously with this pop of color that I absolutely love and I think you guys are really gonna love it this season to learn how I created this look today then please keep on watching if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So to start off this look, we're going to be starting with primers. And I'm going to be using a few different ones today. So because this is a glowy, bronzy kind of makeup look, I have to do steps a little bit differently just for the fact that I have very oily skin. So I definitely don't want to look like a grease ball by the end of the day. So I'm going to have to use a few different primers in different areas of my face. I'm going to be using two matte primers and one glowy primer. So the two matte primers I'm going to be using is the, the Professionals primer. And I'm also going to be going in with my favorite Ace Primed and Peachy uh, Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. These are going to make sure that my makeup stays on all day and that I don't get oily. More so in my T-zone area. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Professionals primer and I really like this primer because if you have large pores and typically if you have oily skin then it kind of comes with large pores then um, you need something that's going to kind of fill in um, the pore so that way it doesn't really show a whole lot and this professional one does exactly that so I'm just going to put that like on my nose and in the cheek area then I'm taking my Too Faced primer and I'm going to apply that in the forehead area because that's going to keep this area really matte for me throughout the day. Next I'm going to be going in with the NYX Liquid Luminator. You can mix this into your foundation or you can just apply it directly to the skin. I'm just going to apply it directly to the skin so that way I have a little bit more control. So for this primer I'm going to be applying it just to the high points of the face the, pl the places that I want to see more glow and luminosity so I definitely don't want to apply that anywhere in the center of my face so I'm going to apply that more towards the outer part so I'm going to apply it right here on the tops of my cheek you can see how really pretty that is and blend that out and you guys know I like to drag my highlighter into my eyebrow so you can see automatically how it gives the skin a nice glow so I don't mind getting dewy like on the outer parts of my face but I do not, do not want to get dewy in my t-zone <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to apply some right here above the brow bone so I just love when the light catches the side of your face and it's kind of highlighted all throughout. Next I'm going to be going in with a foundation and today I'm not going to be using my Too Faced matte foundation. Today I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and it looks like this and I'm choosing this foundation for today because like I said this is going to be a more bronzy kind of glowy look and the double wear it's matte, but it's more like a satin matte, so it's still going to give the skin a little bit of life and a little sheen. And I'm also still going to get the longevity that I need and the oil control that I need. I'm going to be blending that out with my Morphe M439 brush, and I'm just going to stipple it. So as you can see, it's dark on my face, but it's matching with the rest of my body.
But before we jump into concealers, I'm actually going to contour a little bit. And I'm actually going to be using a foundation to contour. So one thing I really enjoy about doing makeup is there really are no rules. Not one product is used for one specific thing. Even though it's marketed that way, you can use any product for various different things. So today I'm gonna to be going in with the Matte and Portless Foundation and I'm using the shade 368. And I'm gonna carve out my face and contour in the areas that I like to contour for my person, for my face shape. And I'm gonna go in with a, just a regular um, like foundation brush. So I have a little bit of product on my brush and I'm gonna apply that in the hollows of my cheek. like so, and around my hairline. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Real Techniques sponge and blending that all out. All right, so we are looking nice, dark, and tan. So now it's time to add in the light. So we're going to be going in with the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer, and I have two shades now. And if you haven't seen my review on these, definitely check out the last video I made. It was all drugstore, like, first impressions. And um, so I'm going to be using my regular shade that I got, which was medium beige. And I also picked up another color called um, medium peach. And the reason I picked up this shade, the medium peach shade, is because I wanted um, a little bit more brightness, especially for this look. And so this one is more true um, to my complexion without a tan. And I wanted just a little bit more brightness, so I went and picked up a lighter shade. And I picked up the one with a peach-ish undertone, just because peach can um, create a radiant effect. So that's why. I'm going to be taking the medium beige shade, and I'm going to apply it under my eye. Which I guess now, because I am more tan, this is definitely a lot brighter on me. I'm applying this and I'm going to apply it on the forehead, down the nose, like so, and on the chin. Okay. So I'm going to blend that out first and then I'm going to go in with the medium peach. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Coated Airspun, and I'm just going to set all the areas where I applied concealer. Then I'm going to go ahead and dust that off. I don't like to let my bake sit too long. Especially right here if I apply it on the side because if not it'll start leaving a very harsh line that I do not want to have. Next I'm going to be going in with my bronzer and like I mentioned before if you haven't seen my last video about my first impressions on new drugstore makeup go check it out because today I'm going to be using my Wild bronzer in Shady what shady beaches and i'm going to be going in with my sigma tapered face f25 next i'm going to be going in with a blush and i'm going to be using my trusty blush palette that i get at my local beauty supply store 
and I'm gonna be using a mixture of shades really um, I'm really digging like this kind of corally almost orangey kind of color um, because I am gonna be using a pop of color later on as you'll see um, but I also really like this coral color and it's a little bit lighter so maybe I'll do a little bit a little bit of the both <laughs> Before I continue I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then apply my highlighter I like doing that if I want a more intensified highlight um, because something about just wetting the skin or even wetting your brush with the product just amplifies it so I'm gonna use my morphe continuous setting mist The highlight I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia and M. Reese collaboration. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M438. Yeah, wow. Look at that glow. That's that spring glow you guys want. So, and then I apply some into the eyebrow. You guys know this. That's what I like to do. All right, and the tops of the eyebrow. See, so when you see when you turn your head and that light catches right above that arch of the eyebrow, it looks so beautiful. It's very editorial. All right. Mm. All right, so my camera died well overheated so it shut off so i did my brows off camera while it cooled down and if you haven't seen already i have posted a current eyebrow routine so you can go ahead and check that out or click on the card up here and uh check that out i'm gonna be using my morphe 25a palette i believe yes it's copper spice and it looks like this and I'm also going to be I'm also going to be using my Morphe 35V palette. First I'm going to go in with the shade Lit in my 24A palette. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M532 and I'm just picking a little bit. I'm going to apply that right into the crease and just dust it all over. You can go back and forth, you can use circular motions, just apply it in the crease. But make sure it's blended well. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Rose Gold from the 25A palette as well. And I'm going to be using my M573. Now, this is more of a, even though the name is Rose Gold, it doesn't really look like a rose gold color. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys. I'm talking about this color right here. Kind of looks more, to me, like in the pan, it looks more of like a taupey kind of brown. So yeah, I'm going to take that and apply that on my brush. I typically don't use shimmers in the crease, but for the sake of this video, I am. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all right in here. Mm, that actually does look really pretty. I hope the camera is picking up that I know in person it definitely looks pretty.
Okay, next I'm gonna be going in with this shade called French Kiss and it is right here. This is the Morphe 35V palette. And I'm gonna just go ahead and take the same brush, pack some of that on, and I'm gonna brush it in to the crease as well. And with these shimmers, thankfully, you don't have to put in so much work as far as into blending because it's a shimmer shadow. They tend to blend a lot more easier than your matte colors. Um, so you can be a little messy um, with these shades. And we also kind of want to give it that blown out, almost kind of beachy kind of vibe. Um, so you could just kind of just slap it on your eyes and it'll, it'll basically just do the work for you. So I'm going to go back in with my 35V palette and I'm going to be using this shade right here and that shade name is Shameless. And I'm going to take a oldie but a goodie, a MAC, a MAC eyeshadow brush, I can't remember the number. Um, and I'm just going to pack that on the brush and I'm going to apply this onto the lid and the brow bone. Pretty. All right, and to finish up the eyes, I'm going to be taking a Morphe, it's like a lip pencil brush, and I'm going to go back into my 25A palette, and I'm going to be using this brown, it's called Destination, and it's this brown right here. I'm going to take this color and smudge it across brush across the top lash line just to get a subtle smoke effect. Next, I'm going to be applying some mascara. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Next, I'm going to be applying my lashes, and I'll do that off camera, and I will be right back. All right, lashes are on. I am using the ones that I used in my last video, which is the Jasmine Brown and Eyelor Collaboration Lash, and I absolutely love these. I think they're really perfect for this look as well because they kind of have like a spiky effect, and I think it looks very flattering with the look that we're going for today. I also went ahead and applied a little bit of a nude liner into my waterline, and I actually used my Kelly Baker Brow um, highlighter pencil that you can use under your brow bone as well and I really like applying a nude liner into the waterline especially for looks like this or because it creates a like awoken effect so you see the eyes look a lot brighter they even almost look doll like um, so that's a nice little tip to think about when you are doing your makeup so lastly all we have left to do is the lips and it's actually the little star of the show today my little pop of color with this bronze glowy look and i am so excited to put it on and just see how it all just kind of comes together so in all reality you can do any kind of look you can stop here and just apply like a clear gloss or a nude lipstick or a nude lip glass or lip gloss or whichever but for me i wear nude lips a lot just because it's easy it's, it looks pretty all of it 
but I love doing pops of color every now and again. First, I'm going to start off by lining my lips and I'm going to be using my all time, all time favorite lip liner. And this is by NYX. And I'm not sure. I know they have like different lines of liner, but all I can tell, I can't. I've already shaved it off. It's a little nub now. So I can't tell you which line. I just know it's the pencil kind. And um, this is in the shade Brown Cafe. 821 but as you can see right now it still looks super pretty even like this like I could have just lined my lips apply a little bit of my liquid catsuit by wet n wild that I absolutely love if you guys need to check out that last video find out the things that I fell in love with and I love this and um and this is the shade send nudes and I can apply this and then I mean this is still a good glowy bronzy kind of a look um but I'm still gonna go in with my pop of color. So for the start of my show today, I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And this is in the shade Heroin. I absolutely fell in love with this shade. I have I have a few other shades. Um, let me tell you, this stuff, it's, it lives up to its name. It really is like super staying, like for real it will stay on all day. When I knew I just wanted to do this look for springtime, I mean, just turned spring and I just was like, you know what, I feel like, even though this could be a summer look too, totally, this is just a warmer look in general. Everybody wants to be bronze and tan again and glowing and just uh, loving the sun, loving the good weather. And also because I know it would look great with a tan like it's just gonna it's just gonna look so beautiful and I'm so excited finally if you made it throughout this whole video we're finally putting the lip on oh, just look how pretty that looks oh my gosh I'm so excited okay okay let's go ahead <laughs> look is just everything i absolutely loved the way this turned out i got a little lipstick on my teeth um i mean it's just it's fun it's flirty it's glowy it's bronzy shimmery oh this pop of color so this does dry down matte and it dries pretty quick and it is already um drying down but yes this will last you all day so I absolutely love this color and I encourage you guys to go and get it if you want to recreate this. So that concludes today's look and I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm coming out with new videos every week. If you have any video suggestions, please leave it down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next video.